What's up everybody, my name is Taryn Williams, I am the CEO of the Digital Chef brand and I am captain of the Digital Chef Armada and I would like to welcome you all to my little pocket of the multiverse called Digital Chef ENT right here on YouTube and on Twitch. So today I'm going to be playing another one, another beat em up, you know I'm not going to say the best beat em up, it's not horrible as I play it a few times now. We're going to play in Geketo Advance, Kentaro's Revenge. I don't know who the hell Kentaro is, why the hell he's revenging, but he is. So, get Keto Advance. Eh, never played it before, except for the last like 30 minutes of me just trying to get past the first level. But <laughs> besides that, I played the original Get Keto, Urban Fighters on the PlayStation. It's one of my favorite beat em up. Now I keep saying. Pocket. I, I still have my 3DS. I had a original PSP, a PSP Slim. I actually found my PSP Slim. I still have that, which is in my currently in my drawer right now. I've always enjoyed a portable game. I just like the nuance of it. And I haven't been a really big mobile games fan. Like I have some stuff here and there. I have a bunch of stuff on my tablet that I don't really play, but I have it because I just still like the nuance of portable gaming. And so we're gonna get into this. As you probably know, I am the big beat 'em up fan. So this is another beat 'em up. So we're gonna get right into this. We're just gonna make sure my controller works. Let's go. My apologies for taking so. Okay, so right off the bat, whoever wrote this, whoever thought this concept of doing the text, you suck. Because, like, look at, like, just try to read this. Like, it's nothing in the complete sentence, and there's this weird three second gap in between one line of one frame of text to the next frame of text. So you can't read it. It's like, it's stupid. It's broken. It's not cohesive. It could have just did it any way else. <laughs> This is like really, really bugs me. You can't skip it either. So I've seen this like seven times in the past like 30 minutes. I'm tired. A year has passed since that fateful day when we could do nothing to save the life of young Angela. Nothing must be left a chance this time. Please go Tetsuo and find out what is happening. And Tetsuo is one of the characters in Geketo Urban Fighters. It's him and the other guy. If you ever see the cover of Geketo, the ginger head guy, or the ginger haired guy, excuse me. Yeah, that's the other character. Or the two people you start off with at first. Anyway, we're gonna get into this. I have no idea. I guess he's in a kind of sort of feudal japan is place, I guess. Maybe, or maybe it's all cosplay and I don't know. So anyway, so this is a Game Boy game. So you have A and B, A is punch, B is kick. So, you have, you know, combos and stuff like that. And the left button and the right button are both jump. Excuse me. So, we're gonna, you know, let's talk to some people. The worst text boxes ever. That's so slow. And you can't speed it up, or. You, I guess you can kind of. Yeah, it's kind of fast, but. Ugh. Uh, it's a simple farmer's village. Strange shit started happening. Right in the villages and shit. It began when that old temple on the left had been abandoned. Somebody has built some strange lion statues. Or dark lion statues. Hmm. And let's go talk to her. I swore the first time I read that, I thought it said Naruto. I'm like, oh shit, wait, that makes no sense. But uh, it says like Naru. So I got kind of excited and got kind of sad at the same time. Punch the shit out of the light stand. Talk to this little boy. No, I do not want to play. I'm a grown ass man, kid. I gotta like save this town from zombies. I guess. Like, this text sucks. And then, oh shit, something's happening. Yeah, be quick. Like that knife strike is so goddamn fast. 
like, uh, like, that's fucking annoying. I do like the way Tetsuo runs though, like, that's a pretty nice dash anime. I like his converses too though. <laughs> yeah, his trip and fall animation is so fucking hilarious. It just happens, there's no real reason, he just tips over. Like, there's no collision, he's just like, up, 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 I'm down, I'm down. Like, do like, footwork in the back? Hamburgers. I always love the beat em up trope of just random food. Like, even though the food is on like plates, like they're on like legit plates. Like, that's like real plates and shit. Like, it's the funniest shit. Like, if you see the turkey, the turkey's like laid out on the big dish because like garnishes and shit. I, I always love that. The little nuance of beat em ups where, yeah. Oh, yeah, then your special move is um, Ambi, which I guess is your clear out, I guess. It's your very. Beat em ups have a lot of beat em ups have clear out attacks. Act as your super. Give me your hamburger, bitch. But also, another thing that's really weird about the game, you notice that when there's like a lot of enemies, or when enemies appear, the music starts. However, when you see those pale, like, jobber enemies, there's no music. So they just pop up and they just punch you. And fuck him in this upward knife attack. Like, fuck. Like, it's really fucking fast. Like, I need some frame data. I need to know what the hitbox is. Like, Shit is stupid. Dude, leave me a hit stone. Like, it's so fucking fast. And a lot of the things I just said is a whole bunch of fighting game nonsense, so don't worry about that. Maybe I'll get into that one day. That JPEG was horrible. <laughs> Greetings, old man. Strange happening, don't you agree? I like to find a way into the temple. Hmm, nice view, isn't it? Unfortunately, things are changing now. The only way to reach big temples through the underground passage. Here, take this key to the secret room. Remember, only the bravest can reach the temple. The story tells of a jump in the dark. But basically, he just said, you're gonna have to jump in a dark area. Which is another kind of cool thing that a lot of games do where um, the NPCs are non-player control characters. They give you tips, or they basically tell you what you're gonna have to do. When it's done right, it can be like really cool. Okay, let's see if I can get these back. There's a reason why I'm being very like patient with this bat. It's a very specific. Oh come on! Like it's this weird pattern. There we go. Yay! Cause the last time I played this, that key did not fall, so I was stuck, running around like a complete idiot with no way to progress. Like, see, you know, there's two enemies that popped up and no music. Like, there's nothing. So, we gotta go in here, punch the statue, pick up some D, pause, uh, and then run back. Fall? This is so stupid. Like, there's no warning. I would rather him just fall in the hole instead of tripping. Like, it's so stupid. When we actually have the platform, it gets even dumber. So, get this big. Like, this ladder is. This ladder comes up to his. just above his knee. It's fucking huge. You know what I'm and I'm you know, I gotta run back. I do like his dash animation. Like, that's actually really nice. Like, I do appreciate that. That's about it. Come down here. Look at this James Bond ass circle. Like, it's a perfect circle. Oh shit, I tweet, I tweet, I tweet, that's on me. That's not on you, Tetsuo. And I got a platform in a game that shouldn't be any platforming. It shouldn't be any punchy shit from left to right. But yeah. <laughs> like, it's just weird. Like, he <laughs> So, I fell in the hole. Instead of him animating him falling in the hole, he tripped on nothing. Great job, guys. You guys deserve awards for this. But you can say, oh, you know, the GBA is not as powerful. They didn't have enough hardware to do this. Oh, yeah, fuck. This isn't the right... Wait, where is it? No, this is the right key. I have to go... Oh, what the fuck? This is so stupid. Like, now I have... 
right I have to go backwards this is the right key because that's just like oh this is the wrong key now I have to go backwards and I'm dead and so we're gonna keep going oh my god oh my fucking god like I might do a montage of him just falling cause she's fucking hilarious so I was gone for like 10 minutes like 10 minutes it went from daytime to nighttime. She got eerie as fuck. Um, there's ravens everywhere, and they don't even exist in the plane of existence. You see that shit? They don't even fucking exist. I'm walking right through them. They're animated, but they're not there. Um, we were under attack. How? Please help us. Ravens. The children have disappeared. But. How? I was gone for like 10 minutes. You guys were just Gucci, like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> this door looks damaged, which just is a game worth saying, hey, you can punch this. Walk in here, kick the shit out of some bats, you know. Uh, like, uh, yeah, there's nothing else in here, so I'm about to leave. You go to the left, you basically go from right to left. Oh, I just wasted that? Fuck you. Wait, I can juggle. There's actually like a juggle system in this game. It looks like it. It's like a little bit of a juggle. Not like Tekken S juggling. Oh, fuck that shit. Like, that shit is so fucking fast. Okay, but you can't handle my juggles, though. Oh, I got, oh, I got, wait, I got another pattern. Fuck. I want to see how far that went. Give me that hamburger. Um, I have a key for this door, so I'm going to keep going left. So as you see, I'm not my wasted that. As you can see, there's like, you know, like little ground traps. I always appreciate games where the traps can hit the enemies, too. Just because it adds like a little bit of variety and adds a nice element. So you can kind of trap enemies with their own traps. I hate where enemies can just walk through traps that don't fucking exist. It's like, I have to deal with it as the player, but the enemy can't. I hate that shit, I hate that shit. This shit grinds my gears. What the fuck? Okay, let's see what this is. I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, it locked- wait, wait, wait a second. So, that shit locks my fucking buttons. I can only jump. Yeah. So, what the fuck is this do? Turn me invisible? Oh, I think I'm invisible. Oh, I can't get touched. Okay, that's kind of- that's useful. I like that. Yeah, but that black exclamation mark, it locked my attacks. Are you fucking sick? Like, why would you put that in your game? Like, that makes no sense. Like, if you're gonna do power-ups, just do power-ups. Like, don't do fucking downgrade. Like, it makes no sense to put that stuff in a beat-em-up. Or in this type of beat-em-up. Where it's really simple. You, no one, you don't even get an explanation. Okay, I doubt it. Uh, we're gonna use one more credit. I'll keep going. I'll use this credit. But this game isn't bad, it's just not fun. Like at all. Well, there's so many other fun GBA games. Like Advanced Wars, you have the Advanced Wars series, you have the Mega Man Battle Network series, you have the Pokemon games, you have Golden Fucking Sun 1 and Lost Age. These are both very legit RPGs, which I'm probably gonna play too, because they're fucking great. And then you have this game, which you know it's kind of piggybacked off of the PlayStation version. I love the PlayStation version. And this one just doesn't, like, it just doesn't do GBA justice, or it doesn't do beat em up justice. They could have made this. Oh, how fucking you said that jump? I can all the way in here for a hamburger. Like, it just doesn't do the game justice. It doesn't do beat em up justice as a whole. In my humble opinion. I had three of these fuckers? I was like in beat em ups how it's the same enemy, but they change the color of the enemy. It means that like they're more powerful or something. I always appreciate that trope. That, that beat em up trope. They're just like, hey, we can't afford money to animate some more enemies. Hey, let's just change the color of them. And it indicates that they're like a little stronger, but they're not the same. Ooh, I'm so scared. Cause you have a fucking... You have purple pants, fam. Like, I'm not scared of you or purple pants. And this is where I really wish that trap hit enemies because that would have been a very nice thing. And dude, he's just fucking destroying me because he's bad. See, turkey. That turkey was fucking good. 
to. Oh, uh, it's on a fucking trap! Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I just picked up. Oh, what the fuck? I picked up. I couldn't even see it. Tell me what to do. Like, mm. Fuck that. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Uh, okay. So we're walking here. There's a lever. Lever. Or I just punch the lever. Okay. Why anime pulling the lever means you punch it? Sure, that makes sense. Oh my god. I mean, listen, it is everything. Oh, I'm not picking that shit up. So the R, you reverse your controls. So, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Left becomes right, right becomes left, up becomes down, down becomes up, punch becomes kick. Like, why the fuck would you put that in your beat em up? I do like, you know, him, as you finish punching, he wipes his forehead like he actually did something. Bro, you're throwing like five total punches and like five total kicks. But hey. What's. Ugh. I can't. I want to keep that combo going. Try to get my happy birthday going. Again, random fighting game terms I'm throwing out there. I'm so sorry. Fuck, fuck that knife attack. Like, fuck that knife attack. Yeah, you see, I keep getting hit by it. Constantly, right? Like, no bullshit. Oh, uh, and there will be... Oh, well, I'll have to touch it. Well, I'm gonna do that. Like, it's so... Like, it's beating out literally every fucking thing I do. Like, every... I don't know what the fuck that does. And I'm not gonna pick it up and find out. Like, the fuck? You see this? Like, I'm pressing the button. It's the way we... Countering everything I do. Um, <sighs> this box. I'm not touching that shit. Oh, now there's falling traps. So now there's. So I got pit. I got shit falling. I got uh downgrades. Oh, I gotta fight. Please help me just die. Yes, I appreciate that. Throw them in the hole, they die automatically. That's good game tonight. I appreciate What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow. Here comes the bullshit. Here, co uh. <laughs> uh, here comes the bullshit. Here, come here it comes. Oh, what the fuck? Mm. Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, here comes the bullshit. Okay. Yeah, if I die, I'm not gonna... This will probably be my last credit. <laughs> and as I say that, I get knife uppercut for the death. We're gonna let this go. We're just gonna let this play. I have three credits left. I'm not playing this anymore. You guys have seen enough. I've seen enough. We're good. We're solid. And here comes D-Wack's game over screen. Ever. They put no time into that whatsoever. But anyway... Thank you all for checking out Geketo Advance, Kitaro's Revenge. We didn't even see him. We have no idea what the fuck he's mad about, but it happened. So thank you for checking out this video. Like, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what you guys think. Also, follow me on Twitch, Digital Chef ENT as well, where I live stream some other games and stuff like that. So, also, check out the menu, which is my flagship cooking show here on the channel. You know, slicing, dicing, and gaming. Before there was the gaming, there's the slicing and dicing. So go ahead, check that out. I'll probably throw a card in there so you guys can check that out. Follow me on Twitter, straight underscore cooking without the G. So straight underscore C O O K I N, no G. You can follow me on Instagram, Digital Chef 35. I'm on Facebook, Taryn Dillard Williams. All that other good stuff. As you know, over here at Digital Chef Entertainment, we be slicing, we be dicing, we be gaming. SDG, thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Check you guys out in the next video. Later.